Welcome back, everyone, for another deep dive. Always happy to be back. Today, uh, we're, we're going to be looking at opening lines. Specifically? Yes, yeah, specifically. Okay. The first line of Franz Kafka's The Trial. Ah, yes. It's one that's gotten a lot of attention over the years, and rightfully so. Right. Here's the line. Someone must have been telling lies about Joseph K. He knew he had done nothing wrong, but one morning he was arrested. Quite a way to start a novel, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, Just yeah. throws you right in. It really does. I mean, right away I'm already kind of hooked. Mm -hmm. Like, who is this Joseph K.? Exactly. And why are they being arrested? Right. What lies are being told? So many questions. Yeah, there's this instant feeling of mystery and injustice. It definitely grabs you. You know, it's interesting you mentioned being grabbed because what Kafka does so well here is that he doesn't ease us in or give us any context. Yeah, it's very abrupt. He just throws us right into the middle of the situation. Yeah. Kind of like how Joseph K. must be feeling. Oh, I see. So right away he's making us feel the same disorientation that the main character is going through. Exactly. It's a brilliant way to immediately connect the reader to the protagonist's experience. Very clever. And it's not like he's using fancy language or anything. Yeah. It's very simple and direct. Mm -hmm. But man, is it intactful. It really is. Do you think that's part of what makes it so effective? Like the fact that he's not using flowery prose? Absolutely. I think that the simplicity of the language actually adds to the power of the line. How so? Well, because it creates the sense of stark reality. It's like a punch to the gut. There's no softening the blow. Oh, I see. And the starkness really sets the tone for the entire novel, which is all about bureaucracy and paranoia. And an individual struggling against an unknown force, right? Precisely. This one sentence encapsulates the themes that Kafka explores throughout the entire book. So would you say it's a great opening line then? I mean, what makes an opening line memorable anyway? Hmm. That's a tough question. Well, I mean, you're the expert, right? <laughs> well, of course. But in all seriousness, judging art is subjective. What one person finds memorable, another person might find completely forgettable. Sure, I get that. But I think there are certain qualities that make an opening line stand out. Like what? Like intrigue. Okay, yeah, this one has that. It also sets the tone for the rest of the work. Mm. And most importantly, it leaves the reader wanting more. Okay, so by those standards, this one would be considered pretty great. I would say so, yes. And, you know, it's interesting because while the line is very much related to the plot of the novel, it also kind of works on a metaphorical level too, don't you think? Absolutely. I mean, who hasn't felt falsely accused at some point in their lives? Right. Or like you're trapped by circumstances beyond your control. Exactly. Those are universal themes that everyone can relate to. I guess that's part of what gives the line its lasting power then. For sure. It stays with you long after you finish reading the book. So... To wrap things up, yes, the opening line of the trial is really a masterclass in how to hook the reader and set the stage for a truly compelling story. Couldn't have said it better myself. And it leaves us with a thought-provoking question. How does this opening line compare to other famous first lines you've encountered? What makes those lines stand out and how do they impact your reading experience? That's a great question really gets you thinking. Indeed. We'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And in the meantime, happy reading, everyone. Until next time. We'll see you on the next deep dive. Looking forward to it.